Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Terry and I like to buy stuff and you found Terry Buy Stuff. And today we are in the kitchen. I have this huge box behind me. It, it doesn't even fit on the main counter, but look at this. Today we're talking about the GE Profile Opal 2.0 Ice Nugget Maker. So this is going to help us get into ice, smart home technology, and also ice you can chew. Now I'm not an ice chewer, but other people in the house are, and this is a soft ice. It's the good ice. Now you know what, this thing, I, I gotta manhandle this to get it out of the box. So we're gonna do that, bring it back. But you can see it is a huge box. We got this from amazon.com. You can get it multiple places, but of course I'll have the link to Amazon below. So let me manhandle this box and we're gonna show you what's inside. Actually, it wasn't too hard to get it out of the box. Once I cut the straps off, it came off up and above. Um, so again, we're gonna keep opening this. Looks like there's all kinds of stuff in here. Drip tray. instruction manual, which I think I'm gonna need to read this one. Okay, let's give you a kind of a first peek. She's pretty. Ooh, look at that stainless steel. This is gonna look so nice. And actually this is the back right here. You're looking at the side. She's heavy, girl. So this is, this is a big girl, 16 and a half inches tall, about 13 and a half wide and 17 deep. And never have I seen a piece of wood in a home appliance packing material. Look at this, that's wood. <laughs> they made this solidly packed. I mean, this thing, it's, she's a beast. Okay, so here's the story on this. This is going to mini me. I wanted to try it out first and see if, you know, if the stuff house needs one because she lives in an apartment. They don't have uh, the automatic ice maker is awful. It's just, you know, the typical apartment fridge and uh, she just doesn't like it. She doesn't like it at all. And plus, you know, the water's not filtrated and stuff. And of course she's going to use filtered water. So she's also an ice chewer and she's a little nugget lover. So this makes a soft compressed nugget ice. It's the kind of ice that you get like when you're going to Sonic or maybe you're going to your favorite, you know, watering hole and you get that nice drink with the ice. It's that quality ice. You're not going to buy this ice in a grocery store and you're not gonna get it in your refrigerator. I mean, this is the, the real deal. It's the good ice. So I'm gonna link below a video from GE showing how to clean this the right way. There is a whole cleaning process that we have to go through, rinsing everything out, doing actual cleaning cycles on this. That's gonna take us a little bit of time. So I'm gonna get it washed, go through the cycles, prep it, I need to download an app to my cell phone because this, again, it's smart. It's part of your new smart home. So you could use your Google device, you could use your Amazon device, and you can tell it when to make eyes, turn on and off lights, it's so cool. So I'm gonna get it prepped and then we're gonna see this thing in action. It's um, supposedly we can have ice in as little as 20 minutes. So let's set her up. So before I go hauling off away here, I wanted to show you this. When you open this, there's a little like, you'll feel it. You'll feel how to take it out. Drip tray. I know I read in the directions I'm going to need this, this little latch hook thingy. And then it comes with your own cute little ice scoop. So all of these pieces need to be washed. I do want to say Never ever, according to General Electric, use soap in here. Never ever. It has its own cleaning cycle. There's UV light, we'll talk about it, but just please don't put soap in there. But we can rinse this out real well with some soap. So we'll be right back. 
Gonna run my first cleaning on it. Power and hold for three seconds. One, two, three, there it goes. And now we should be able to see it drip. Oh, you can see my iPhone. <laughs> see if I can get all those. Maybe if I shoot from the side. Okay, so here she is, all clean, took about 20 minutes. We, of course, hooked the side tank here. You can see it's really, it's a nice unit. I mean, it's very pretty. And, of course, GE kind of sets it up that you can go ahead and buy this to match, like, their GE profile refrigerators and so forth. It does say to not put this by your stove, which we're just doing this for demo purposes. Also, don't put it in a place of direct sunlight because you don't want the sunlight to get in there. One of the big things with this generation of the GE Profile Opal Nugget Maker is that they moved over the heating unit and where the water comes from and right over in this side, in this back left side, this is the coolest thing. The mom in me says this is why this is okay. There's a UV light to keep, you know, of course, bacteria and mold, all of that not in the unit because that's what worries me when you have a unit like this that if you're not keeping it clean you can of course be getting mold in your ice also GE provided this really nice graphic and you can see here it looks like we're gonna have to keep this thing cleaned every two to three weeks in the region that we live here in the southwest because of hard water now maybe it won't be as bad for us because we are using reverse osmosis purified water and I'm sure many of you will use that as well. So I think we're ready. I think we're ready to just go ahead and hit the power. So the reason why this ice has become so popular and so coveted is because you know how when you buy the bag store ice, there's that hole in the middle, like the cylinder, because it's made on a cylinder and it leaves a hole in the middle and then melts right away. This is actually taking flakes and compressing it into a fully solid nugget. So that's the cool part about this. I'm gonna go ahead and get the app downloaded. I just kind of dug in and started, but let me get the app downloaded while this first round, you know, kind of makes up and then that way we can check out the app together, check out the light. It It is a little noisy, yeah, I can hear it audibly, but no worse than, you know, a standard dishwasher, I guess. Um, not the new quiet dishwashers like I got, but I mean, it's no worse than the dishwasher that came in my house. It's under 43 decibels. So if you're sitting, no TV on, no music, no nothing, yeah, you'll notice it. But if you're just going about your life, I don't think you'll notice it at all. Here we are at the hour and a half mark. Looking pretty good. So if only I was having a party right now, I would be ready with some really good ice. So it's been a few hours, actually. I wanna say about three and a half hours and we almost have it full. This device is capable of making, it is 24 pounds of ice in a day. I had to think for a second. I was like, how much? 24 pounds of ice. Now, I will say we had dinner and we're just sitting watching a, a movie, not a loud movie. And that 
that noise is a little annoying to me. I think if this was a large house where the kitchen was completely separate and the living room was not an open floor plan, I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, we'll have to see how Minnie Me likes it in her apartment because, again, that's kind of an open floor plan. You go from the living room to the kitchen. There is that level of noise. If I'm completely quiet here, let's see if you can hear it. Besides the ice dropping. I think after downloading the app, what I would do is start the ice at 3 in the morning. <laughs> so that way... It was there when I woke up and I slept through this noise. Now, again, if you're having, you know, a sporting event party, birthday party, um, family get together for dinner. Yeah, crank her up. Get the ice going. I don't think you'll notice the sound at all. However, if you're relatively quiet, you're going to hear it. So I I got some glasses. I We do not drink soda, but I thought what better way to show off this ice than with a little Sprite, a little Coke. Um, this is generally what I drink is water, but we're going to go ahead and kind of experience again that nugget ice. It is flakes of ice compressed into a solid nugget. You're not going to have any hole in the middle. Um, there's so many different things about ice that I didn't even realize until I started researching for this ice maker. But let's see what we got. So I think I can just go ahead and shut her off. I could even shut her off on the app, by the way. Here's some uh, pictures from the app use. It was really easy to use, very easy to set up. Well, it's really cold. See this little nozzle right here? Now it's dripping as I'm touching it. But that is what the water kind of drips down into, recirculates, and makes ice. Now here, I'm gonna put this here for a sec. Look at this ice. Is that just gorgeous? And also, oh, look at this. I got the handy dandy stuff house thermometer. Okay, so when I point the thermometer at the countertop, it's 80.7 degrees. Point it at the ice. Oh, 35.3. Oh my gosh, this is really cold. And let's take my thermometer and point it in here. 51, 54. So it's really in here. Yeah, okay. So, look at how cute. Look at that ice. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, <laughs> it goes up really fast. It's just fun. Little nugget ice. Oh my God. Let's fill these up. This is the kind of ice you're going to get at the restaurant, at the bar. And it's so slippery. Oh my gosh, and look at this. We're just gonna use all this ice. And I'm making a mess, which is fine. It's, we're having fun. Oh, look. And that, again, just shows you how fast the ice goes, right? Now, the one thing, and I said it before, I'm not an ice chewer, but let's try one. Tastes like ice. It's clean. And it is kind of fun to chew. If you're an ice chewer, that's fun. So let's go ahead and try it with just some water. That was a full eight ounces of water. You're supposed to drink eight of these a day. Look at that. Oh, it's cold. Look at that. Let's see if it tastes like normal water. That's awesome. I do not like this product, but Mr. Stuff does. Let me show you what it looks like with a Coke. Nice and cold. That looks refreshing. So I'm just going to pass that off. Here you are, Mr. Stuff. And then every once in a while, if I am going to drink a soda, I will drink a Sprite. I will try it. Um, so let me try a Sprite in this ice and tell you if it tastes good diet or not. It's not diet Coke. It's regular Coke. Tastes normal. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's try the Sprite. Oh, I wish it was like 100 degrees. This would taste so good. Wow, really good. So if you're like everyone in the stuff house and you love ice, I do see how the GE Opal Nugget, it's 2.0 Nugget Maker is going to be a good situation for you. It is kind of on the spendy side, but again, I think having the ability to control it through your Amazon or your Google, whatever AI smart device you use, also being able to control it on the app. So let me go into my app here for a second, turn on and off the light, just so you can see. And it has a scheduler. So that's the cool part. That's where I said I would go in and I would schedule this thing to go off at three in the morning. And then I know I have some, you know. So I go in and my Opal right now says it's making ice and the light is on. I'm gonna turn it off. Let's see if you can see it from here. There you go. Did you see it went off? And now let's turn it on. Lights back on. That's pretty cool. And also knowing that there's a UV light that's in the reservoir tank that's keeping the unit fresh and sanitized. Now I did show that map. I'm going to show it again one more time. So you can see it says where I live. You know, you have to clean the scale out of this every two to three weeks. So you can kind of tell on the map, depending on where you live, how often you'll be cleaning it. Plus, if there's scale in an item, it just tastes gross. I mean, go back to your coffee maker, go back to your water pots. You know, nobody likes scale. We got rid of scale by installing a reverse osmosis in our home or with this, Mini Me is going to buy the bottled spring water. She's not going to use the water straight out of her sink. So with that said, I think I absolutely would give it a Terry Buy Stuff big thumbs up. I, you know, the price is a little much for me. <laughs> I'll admit that. This is coming in well over $500. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it at Best Buy, all Walmart, all the different places. If you love chewing on ice, you love solid ice, and you just honestly kind of want to be cool. Is this the water? This is the water. Um, this is the water. It tastes great. It's it's great. I mean, there's nothing there is nothing weird about this ice. I would pay for this ice, and this is that fun ice. Can you imagine playing with this in the summer? That's going to be awesome. So I I do think it's a good device. I'll have the link below to Amazon.com. You can start manufacturing your own ice. Now we'll scoop that out, put it in a container and throw it in the freezer and just let this thing shut off. You know what I mean? We're not gonna, because if you were to leave ice in there, you'd have to let it run all the time. The ice would melt. So you wanna make sure that when you're done making ice, you know, maybe get yourself a ice bucket container you're gonna keep in your freezer. And then two, that way when you're having parties, you can just like, manufacture a bunch of ice and then you're ready and then you don't have to like haul the bags from the grocery store which is even better so it is the ge opal it gets the terry buy stuff big thumbs up thank you so much for watching today and enjoying our little ice journey as always i appreciate you i love you happy shopping happy ice making and we'll see you on the next round till then guys bye